Hello, my name is Melissa and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build a new license on License Pro. Once you've logged onto License Pro, you'll see this dashboard with all the information about your current, future and expired licenses. To get started, you'll want to click over here on the screen, add a new license button on the top right. This will take you to a screen where you can enter the details of your first license. First, you'll want to add a new client. For this one, we'll add an AJ's Honey, just because we love bees. Then we'll add an identifier for the photo shoot or images to be covered by the license. For this one, we'll call it Honey Harvest. This identifier will help us tell the difference between our licenses. Next, we will add in our terms and conditions. We have some terms and conditions preloaded, so we'll use one of those, but you can upload any terms and conditions you want. The next step is to choose the start date for the license. We'll choose the day we intend to supply these images to our client. Then the final step in this top part is to add a description. This can be some notes or any detail you want to be added to the license. We'll just put checking the hives with AJ. Now we get to build our license. This is the fun part. We start with type and you'll see three options. Personal is for portrait photographers and anyone who offers personal licensing to permit others to print or use their images in social media, etc. Then we have editorial for using images in periodicals or any editorial usage. But the most common license is for commercial usage, so I'm going to go ahead and click here for this one. As you can see, the appropriate op options open up beneath each license type. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this commercial license. The status for these images is not exclusive and AJ wants to use them on packaging, his website and in social media, so we'll select those under usage. You can see there are a lot of other options here covering the various different usages that are available and you can add your own custom ones too. If you're unsure about these, we go th into them in more detail in another tutorial. Next, we have to select territory. Because we have websites selected, we'll make this a worldwide license. You can also add in territories to tailor License Pro to your needs. Next, we have attribution. Do you need to be credited or not? I'm going to select optional here. The final selection is for the period of the license. For these ones, I'm going to select two years as that's what we agreed with AJ. Once we've done that, we simply click on save and continue. This makes a draft of the license and takes you to a window to upload images. The next step is to upload the images onto the license. The system resizes the images automatically and retains all the metadata, so just drag and drop your high-res JPEGs into the box here. You'll be able to see the progress as they upload, then once they are in there, click I've finished managing images. This will take you to the final screen where you can see the license, images and client details on one screen. The final step is to send the license to your client. At this stage the license is a draft so you can still edit, delete, download and of course send the license to your client. And that's what we're going to do now. You'll see an email is generated automatically from License Pro. You can edit this, send yourself a copy or just click send. Once you send the license it will move from draft to send and you won't be able to modify it. At this point you're waiting for your client to sign the license which they can do directly on their screen or device. Once they sign the license you'll be notified and the license will progress from sent to active on your dashboard. As this license approaches its expiry you and the client will receive a notification at one month and again when it expires so you'll have plenty of time to renew the license. And that's how you build a license with License Pro. Thank you for watching.